Guys, I just made a crazy purchase. This thing is gonna cost me tens of thousands of dollars, but you I can't wait for you guys what? to see it. Hey, hey guys, guys it's, it's the, the Davidsons. Davidsons, and welcome back to our channel. We just made a crazy purchase, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Stay tuned. So last weekend, we actually planned to go to Orlando because Sean had a long weekend. Um, and then I think on the way there, Sean goes, so I'm thinking about, um, trading in my car to get yeah, in a bigger so one. Yeah, <laughs> so one thing about me that I've noticed about myself is that when I start thinking about something, I really start thinking about it and I make decisions quickly. Now that I don't think about it, it's just like, I'm thinking about it. Like once I start, it's like, that's all I'm focused on. And Mind you, the same, the, at the exact time that he's going through all this process in his head, He's also looking at cars on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So I, like I, I'm thoroughly like doing research, but it's like very rapid. Like my brain is like thinking about all these things at the same time. One part of my brain is, does it make sense to get another vehicle right now? The other part of my brain is, if I was to purchase a vehicle, what type of vehicle would I get? So I was doing all that at the same time. So we got there Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. um, and then Friday, we spent the entire day like looking at all the ones he had listed that he wanted uh, that were potentials down, yeah. and then um so at, yeah at this point on friday i already made a decision that yes i want a vehicle and i was like let's just start looking to get an idea of what would work best out of the options that i narrowed it down to but we were we he had said we're not gonna buy it this weekend we're just gonna look yeah i really wanted to go look to see how everything would fit the family and it was just supposed to be literally just testing the vehicle out to get an idea and then make a purchase at a you know soon but later in the future and then the reason we wanted to get a new car one of the reasons was because we don't really fit in this car we go to orlando often and with toby alone in the back seat the second seat next to him is always full of stuff and then yeah. the back seat i mean then and then the trunk is full so now imagine you add another baby to the equation yeah. we have less space and more stuff yeah. because and now we things, have more babies. And with babies, like their items are usually big. Yeah. Like, they're not like small little items. And when you travel with a newborn, you're probably gonna always need a stroller. No, that takes up a lot of space. Their walker, let's say, and that takes a lot of space. And I just want to be comfortable and not like when I'm traveling, like trying to like do without certain things. And then you're struggling and uncomfortable on vacation. Like that sucks. So I wanted to make sure we had everything and we could carry everything if we needed to. So every time we put Toby in the in the back seat. It was a hassle like we're bending over he barely fits the space that's there to put him in now that he's a big child isn't there anymore so it's either he has to walk in and sit himself which he's still not tall enough to do it was just a mess the yeah, whole like thing the car, the car is kind of low you have to bend your backs and you're struggling to try to get his arms in or get the um, seat belts around his body his legs are kind of cramped up because oh, yeah. I'm, I'm taller so I have to push my seat back just a little bit. He can still, he still fits, but his legs are a little bit like, his legs are definitely pressed His legs are literally pressed on the chair and so, the whole time he's kicking them. Yeah, and then he likes to kick it just, you know, so just to mess with So the back of me. his, of the so, seat of the yeah. old car was a And the reason we put him behind me is because like typically Jen is with me and it's easier for Jen to turn around and deal and with help him. On, on Instead of the driver me. being able so, to help the baby. Yeah, so it works out better that way, but then it kind of sucks for him because he's so close to me because there's just not that much space in my mm -hmm. vehicle. And I had a Mazda 3 before trading it in. So you guys have kind of seen that in some of the videos. Yeah, but that was So it. yeah, that was the reason. So now, you're gonna check it out. I want to show you guys is the remote start. It's really good in Florida to get your car cooled down and everything like that. So, yeah. But, so I got the Volkswagen Tiguan SUV, um, the SEL version or SEL trim. And I got this for obvious reason. Our family's growing, so I wanted something more spacious and all that. So, if you touch it, it automatically opens all the doors. So, you can set it to open just one or however you want to. But let's take a look at the inside. So, the 
first thing I love about this car is, and you can get this any car, but I got it in all weather. Um, just because, again, it's easier to clean. It has a more luxury look to it. And I love the infotainment system. So it has a digital cockpit. And you can change it to do what display pretty much anything you want. Navigation, the car system, the status of the car, your assist system. If you want to see the cruise control, you can do all that. And it also displays here as well on the screen that they have. So it's a pretty big screen. So we would stop touching stuff. <laughs> it's a little dirty. Yeah. And also what I really want to show you guys is, check this out. I hope you guys can see this. It is a panoramic roof. And that was huge for me, guys. Huge. Both of us. So let's let's open it. So I'm just gonna bring the shade back. Let some sun in. Usually most cars oh. stop here, oh. but this one goes all oh. the way back. Yeah. So sunroof and moonroof. And it's pretty good. Toby loves it at night. You can see everything. You can see the sun, all that, oh. or the sun. You can see the stars and everything. But it's pretty. It's pretty sexy. I love it. Another reason for this vehicle is just the space that it has. Um, so I like how everything is pretty centered around me. I can fit comfortably in here with a decent amount of space and have plenty of space in the back as well without sacrificing my own comfort. So let's go check out the rest of it. There's not much else here. I mean, you know, it has a digital cockpit. It has like all the safety features, lane assist, or sorry, not lane assist. It doesn't have that one, but it has adaptive cruise control where to brake and accelerate for you if it's that's what you're um, It has blind spot detection, rear view camera backup, and rear view camera braking if someone does go behind you it'll break for you same if it detects a collision coming it'll break for you as well so it has all the safety features except lane assist but it has everything else on there um the infotainment system you saw is great it has you can display pretty much whatever you want on there nice touch screen it's a little dirty but that's pretty amazing it has regular standard storage compartments right you have a secret storage here and i just put my shades in there you have obviously the glove compartment standard stuff right down here to where you can like kind of store your phone if you wanted to um if you can see that right down there you can put your phone in there there's also a compartment up here as well you can put little things up here and then your glove compartment cup holders and things like that so let's take it to the back of the vehicle all right so the back seats are also pretty spacious right now toby's car seat's in there and he fits comfortably and i also fit comfortably um if you go on the other side i can show you me sitting behind one of the passenger seats and i still have a leg room all right guys so here i'm in the back seat and you can see the seats are pretty much the same as part as a driver's seat. So I'm able to sit comfortably up there and then I'm also able to sit comfortably back here and still have a little bit of legroom and not feel cramped at all. I love the way the seats feel. They hug me just like they do in the front seat. So I feel like engaged in the car and pretty safe. And that's great. And obviously the panoramic roof when I look up. So being a passenger, I can actually look up and enjoy the scenery. When I'm driving, I can't really see it. I just I just know it's there. And it's 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 amazing guys. It's really, really amazing. It's amazing. And the seats, you can tilt these back seats back. So it's very comfortable. It's almost like a lounge. You can make it really straight if you want to or tilt it back and get that like relaxed laid back feeling. Just, let's check out the trunk space and there's more. So one thing I, I want to show you guys before I get to the actual trunk is this here. So if you look, there's actually a third row back here. That's pretty awesome. So it does have three rows and it's not a big third row but it can seat like a small child or a toddler can sit back there but definitely not adults but it is nice to have so when our kids get older they can sit back there we can still have some adults in in the front or in the, the back seat to get more space now let's go check out the truck so last but not least is the trunk guys um so again we do have a third back row but these can also lay down to add to the trunk space with the third row up the trunk space isn't that great it's like it's like a small car trunk with the back seats up, but once you lay these down, you actually get a lot of space for these seats. Or a lot of space for your trunk, I should say. Alright. And here you guys have the trunk with the seats laid down, and that is really good for us because typically speaking, this is going to be Jen and I and the two and the and the babies. And so this allows us to put like all the toys in there, all the big stuff. We can pile it up and stack it, which is really good. Um, because I know with the car, even if your car is long and have a long trunk, you can't really stack things and it gets annoying to space so quickly. So this is long and we can also go pretty high up with that. So that is amazing. And also if we ever were just on a trip with Jen and I, we can also lay these back seats down as well. And then we have just like an infinite amount of space. So a huge selling point for us guys. 
All right, guys, so that is it for our little car video and car tour. Um, we hope you guys like the car and we love it. We think it's a great decision. It'll be good for our family. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video.